other people could get in, you can get in as well. <laughs> my channel Priscilla here and I hope you're having a great summer personally I am like the weather's trash but I'm still making like the most of it, it. has been a good summer for me and I hope you're having a great summer as well you might know that I got into um UCL for pharmacy I got an offer into UCL school of pharmacy um but guys it's been a while ago when I posted the video I was getting messages like oh congratulations for getting to UCL I'm like um, I'm in dental school right now. It's just been a while ago. I thought <laughs> I started making a video of it But guys, it's been a couple of years ago. Okay, it's not recent. I thought I'd make a quick video um, Showing or helping anyone who might be struggling with a pharmacy personal statement I wrote my personal statement in like two days. It wasn't it wasn't too much of a big deal So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading parts of my personal statement from my laptop So if you see me looking away, it's just because I'm looking on my screen okay so i'm not just ignoring you how many um paragraphs do i need if you ask me i'm gonna say five like just do five paragraphs and you're done you don't need to do more than five it's unnecessary to do more than five if you ask me because nobody's got time to sit there and read like seven paragraphs like they've got thousand plus applicants to read nobody has time to be reading seven paragraphs just by you so please keep it concise so this is how you want to you want to distribute your content the first paragraph should be your intro the middle three paragraphs should be the body and your last paragraph that's the fifth one should be your conclusion so now i'm going to take you like through it step by step the intro think about it you're applying to pharmacy if i'm an admissions officer the first thing i'd be wanting to see in a pharmacy personal statement is why pharmacy okay so make sure in the first paragraph you have details of why you want to study pharmacy things you could include would be um how you came to the consideration of wanting to study pharmacy so you could say something like um after you've been considering what you want for a future career you think pharmacy is something that you would like to do obviously not not worded that way i'm gonna read what i wrote but like something along the lines of that if you did um work experience in different health sectors so let's say in a dental practice at the gp at a pharmacist in a nursing home volunteering because a lot of people do volunteering um if you did all that you could say oh i did i independently um organized work experience in all these sectors and i found pharmacy to be the most appealing so that that tells the officers that oh this girl this boy has actually tested waters in other fields and they feel like they're best suited for pharmacy so it gives insight about how much you've actually done to to build your case or to build this realization that you want to study pharmacy so if you've done that please if you haven't done that don't go and lie if you haven't done work experience in other health sectors don't put in your bark in your personal statement that you catch you in the interview so if you haven't done it please don't do it don't put it in there Personally, I did, so I put it. I could put it in there, but if you haven't, just forget it. In terms of the work experience um, thing in the um, intro, don't go deep into your work experience, into what you did. All you're saying is, I've tested the waters and I found pharmacy to be the best. That's it. Or to be the one I'm most suited for. Don't go into details in the intro of your work experience. That comes in the body. They don't need to know that um, at that point. So you could also include something like, you're driven by the academic challenges that pharmacy will present, because it will present a lot and um, you're thrilled to face these um, academic challenges and work your way through the course. One big thing, this is really big for me, and I feel like pharmacy schools like this kind of thing. Pharmacy is a multidisciplinary career. So what that means is you will be working with other people from other health disciplines. So with people's nurses, with people's carers, with people's um, dentists, GPs, all that shebang okay so you could say something to end that intro something like um you like the the chance pharmacy is going to give you to liaise with other healthcare professionals to take care of or to serve your patients I'm going to read my intro to you guys now um not word for word because please make sure you're not copying everything i wrote word for word because you will be flagged up for plagiarizing and i don't want that i've chosen to study pharmacy after careful consideration from what I would like for my future career. Over the past few years, I have developed a strong interest in science and have in and having independently organized work experience across various healthcare sectors, I found pharmacy to be the most appealing. I am driven by the academic challenges that a degree in career in pharmacy will provide, and I'm excited by a profession that offers a chance to work in a multidisciplinary team 
as well as interacting with the public in a role where I can be of help to others. So my intro was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. That's all you need for your intro. Nine quick lines. Why pharmacy? You've done work experience in other sectors. You're thrilled by the academic challenges and that it will it will present and you're ready to face them. You want to work in a multidisciplinary team. That's all you need for your intro. This is why you want to start honing in into the sciences, okay? So for this part, what I did was I talked about um, an independent research project that I had done. So you want to talk about things that you've done outside of school. So it makes them know or feel like, oh, this girl, this boy has actually gone above and beyond um, the science syllabus. So if you've done any IRP, independent research project, you can include that. Um, anything that has like any further personal research that has given you more knowledge about science, it doesn't matter what the topic is, so long as it's related to some some form of science or some form of um, something in healthcare, it's fine. It shows your commitment beyond your A-levels or your commitment be beyond your IB if you're taking IB. So again, I'm going to read what I wrote. I was inspired from my science classes to research diseases in my own time and realised I was very interested in the pathophysiology of disease processes and drugs. I completed an IRP into the link between Alzheimer's disease and poor oral health. That's actually something I did. And I did that because I knew that I wanted to study dentistry as well. So I was killing two birds with one stone over there really. Um, where was I? I completed an IRP into the link between Alzheimer's disease and poor oral health, in which I learned much more about the destructive mechanisms of the action of bacteria. Being made aware of the power of bacteria compelled me to look at bacteria beyond my specification. So you want to use buzzwords like that, like independently um, conducted or independently organized work experience um, beyond my specification, like things that make them know that you've gone above and beyond your A-levels or your IBs actually, because everybody is doing A-levels, like everybody's got good grades. So what your personal statement should do is one, it should be personal and two, it should show you that you're going the extra mile that other people might not be going. So being made aware of the power of bacteria compelled me to look at bacteria beyond my specification, leading me to the antibiotic ethambutol, which prevents growth of the tuberculosis bacteria, but has one in l ethambutol which causes blindness. This interested me as it showed the importance of drugs being made with high enantiomeric purity due to the potential side effects of other enantiomers. So literally, I just spoke about that research that I did and um, what, what I learned from it as well. The fact that I ended it by saying it interested me because it shows or it showed me the importance of drugs being made with high enantiomeric um, purity due to the potential side effects of other enantiomers. So it showed, it tells them that, oh, I didn't just do this project, but I actually learned something from it. And that's very important in pharmacy because you're, you guys are literally drug lords, like legal drug lords. You will be formulating drugs legally. That's what you lot are. So it just, it, it goes to show that, oh, I actually have some knowledge of what what I will be doing as a pharmacist because I will be working a lot with enantiomers and things like that, okay? So moving on to the second body paragraph. Um, this is when you want to start honing into your work experience, okay? So um, most importantly, what you learned from it. They don't care if you did work as well. They do care, but like, they don't care what you did day to day. They don't care if you woke up at eight, went in and saw that patient, this patient, that. They care about what you learned from your work experience. So um, something along the lines um, of um, my work experience, you just maybe quickly, like one, one sentence, quickly describe what, what went on there and be like, the most important thing again is what you learned from it. So you learned the importance of communication, you learned the importance of teamwork, just things like that. Um, things that they expect of a good pharmacist. Look, be tactical guys. Look for the qualities of a good pharmacist and say that during your work experience, you saw that in there. Like you saw the importance of good communication. You saw the importance of good teamwork. Things that they expect from you as a pharmacist, tell them that you've actually seen it being done. So they know that you have first-hand experience of that. Okay. I'm gonna read my personal, I mean, I'm gonna read my line out. Working at St. Christopher's Hospice and as a dementia friend, I appreciated the importance of communication. So I quickly described what I did. <clears throat> I didn't say I woke up in the morning, took the bus, 
went to the hospice and things like that just quickly tell them what it is that you did go deeper into that like um how is good communication going to affect your relationship with your patients i said that um i had realized from my work experience that healthcare has become less about paternalistic um, relationships with patients and it's crucial that as um, future healthcare workers we're able to empower patients to make better decisions about their health so what i mean by it has become less paternalistic is less of like a doctor patient relationship like you come in take your drugs and go like it's become less of that and it's become more of building trust with patients through our, our communication more about making patients feel um like they're safe in your chair or they're safe in your presence that they can open up to you about their health issues or even about like social issues that might be affecting their health so that's what it means by healthcare has become less paternalistic and more about building trust with our patients so something along that line like tell them what you learned communication and then go deeper so just something like that for your second your second body and that's it you're done and so for your third paragraph for your body which is the fourth of the whole personal statement in itself you want to talk about skills what skills you have and how will they make you well suited as a pharmacist in the future so let's say you were a prefect in your sixth form you could link that to leadership skills and then you can go deeper into what you believe that um leadership skills um, are and what good leadership looks like um and you could also include say you did sports or even you you still do sports you could you could draw um, a parallel between doing sports and being a good team player because that's what team sports are about right so like good teamwork and things like that that will be important in pharmacy because you will be liaising or you will be working with people's nurses and things like that another crucial skill that is needed in pharmacy is manual dexterity so because you'll be doing all of these setups like in chemistry and all that you mix in drugs and everything you have to have good manual dexterity you need to be able to use your hands well so if you have a hobby like hand sewing you could include that and be like you have improved your manual dexterity through hand sewing and that will be important in pharmacy because you will be formulating drugs because you will be um you will be working with setups in your lab and things like that so always link them so it's always about linking things guys don't just put communication there and go your way put communication put why you think communication will be important put team skills put why you think it will be important and how you have developed that put leadership put what you feel like good leadership looks like okay so quickly i'm going to read that part of that paragraph to you as a prefect i have had the chance to develop leadership skills and have learned that good leadership requires a good balance between being assertive whilst ensuring that all members of the team feel engaged and appreciated so again state what you did so in that sentence it was as a prefect and what you've learned so i've had the chance to develop um, leadership skills and i have learned that a good leader or good leadership requires a balance of being assertive and at the same time making sure that all members of the team feel appreciated and are well engaged that's it yeah. so that that is it for the last um or the third paragraph of your body so now i've gone through the intro with you i've gone through the first second and third paragraphs of the body and now what we have to do is conclusion okay the key in, in the conclusion is to remind them why they should let you in why you over the next candidate why you over that other girl from that other school that other boy from that other school and you could um explore once more your curiosity um that you have for pharmacy like you're curious about pharmacy you want to learn about pharmacy so they should let you in because um, you are curious about pharmacy but well not just that <laughs> i want to drive home the fact that you know the pharmacy is a demanding course because it is and they know it's a demanding course it's a master's degree it's really demanding so you want to let them know that you know it's demanding but you're willing to adapt to a demanding course you could also um include the fact that you think pharmacy would be really rewarding to you because it provides um, a it gives you a chance to provide services to your community and also to face academic challenges both of which enormously appeal to you so you see what we did there we talked about um, academic challenges in the intro and we mentioned it again in the conclusion so it may it creates that link that that um, reminder to them that you know that this this course is challenging because i've already told you in the intro that it is a challenging course and i've said it again at the conclusion that 
you know that it is a, ch a challenging course but you're willing to adapt so it just reiterates the fact that you know what this course is about and you know that it's not child's play and that it will demand a lot from you okay so it just it really does drive home the message of you being aware you could also um end it with something like you have developed the skills to become a good pharmacist again i'll read mine to you but just some points as you remind them why you that's what the conclusion is um remind them that you have developed the skills to be a good pharmacist remind them that you know it's a demanding course and you're willing to adapt remind them again that like you said in the intro you will face a lot of um a lot of um academic challenges but you're willing to adapt and you're you're willing to embrace that and work through that so that's that's what the conclusion really is so i'll go through quickly go through some of my i'm a hard working blah 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 student with a curiosity about pharmacy i have worked hard to develop the skills necessary to be a good pharmacist and adapt to a demanding course and career i ended it with um a career in pharmacy would be hugely and um, rewarding to me since it offers a chance to face academic challenges as well as providing a service to the community both of which enormously appeal to me okay oh, yeah one more thing it's called a personal statement for a reason okay personal statement make sure that at least three paragraphs of your personal statement are starting with the word i just don't just start making like constructing some weird sentences in your personal statement i want to see that at least three paragraphs start with the word i it's called a personal statement for a reason personal it's you so keep driving driving home the fact that oh this is me like i did this i independently organized work experience i want to do this i am thrilled by the challenges i i i start most of your your paragraphs with i obviously take inspiration from that but you don't want to say everything that i've said word for word because like i said you will be flagged for plagiarism and we don't want that so just take some inspo from this that's it guys like literally if you do all of this you have like the best personal statement in like one or two days if you actually want to just sit there and dedicate a whole day to this you can finish your, your statement in like one day but obviously you want to make sure that you have um proofread it and everything after that literally for me i feel like this video is foolproof i've literally gone through every single part of the personal statement with you so hopefully you feel a bit more confident about writing your pharmacy personal statement if you have any any more issues or if you need any further help don't hesitate um shoot your questions in the comment section or you can email me i think i'm gonna put my email address somewhere down here um and um you can reach out on my socials as yeah. well make sure that you sign up to my mailing list i send weekly mails so people on the list um so like tips on how to ace your medical dental and pharmacy school applications and like things about gap years and things because i took a gap year as well so i'm gonna put the link down there make sure that you sign up to my mailing list as well let me know how it goes like i'm really like invested in you lot's journey and like the people that i've spoken to about school applications and things so you know let me know how your personal statements are going dm me email me whatever you find convenient i try to reply to everything actually i do everything like does like uni related and things so do reach out and keep me updated hopefully it goes well and hopefully you get in other people could get in you can get in as well okay we've done it before so so can you wishing you all the best with your applications good luck and get in